Hello everyone, Nick here at Scog and Dickey again. Today we're doing a tech video on fuel systems for your LS swapped project car. Now, LS swaps have been dominating the aftermarket performance car market for the better half of two decades. And it's really easy to see why. They're cheap, they're compact, they make a lot of power. There's a lot of solutions out there for oil pans, how to mount it in your car, adapt it to whatever transmission you want to. But one thing that we don't see covered a whole lot and we had a lot of questions about was the fuel system. The reason fuel systems aren't covered that much is because it's very vehicle specific. But today we're gonna give you the basic information that you're gonna need to adapt this to your already carbureted running and driving car. Now, we offer a lot of stuff to help you adapt a high pressure, high volume fuel system that an EFI crate engine is gonna need. So your LS3, LS3 525, even an LS7 crate engine needs that high pressure, high volume fuel pump. And it doesn't have to be too complicated. We offer a lot of solutions for fuel tanks that offer an in-tank fuel pump, just like OEM, from places like Rick's Tanks, Holly, Aeromotive and either direct replacement fuel tanks or of course fuel cells for you race car guys. We also offer some of the cheaper options to put a Walbro or an Aeromotive external fuel pump down on your frame rail to keep it cheaper, keep it a little more simple. One of the things we like here is a kit that we sell for the fuel filter that includes a fuel pressure regulator. Now this is actually the fuel filter out of your 99 to 04 C5 generation Corvette. It is a high flow, high quality fuel filter and it regulates all the way down to 58 PSI, which is what pretty much any LS swap is going to need as long as it's naturally aspirated and of course not running on E85 or any special race fuel. Now, while that'll work for a 4.8 all the way up to our LS7s, we do need to uh, make a note that this isn't for the supercharged or turbocharged guys. For that, you need a boost reference fuel pressure regulator. We do offer those. Feel free to give us a call. We'll definitely get you set up in all the parts that you need. But today, the naturally aspirated guys are gonna get our attention. These are pretty great. They have a single 3 8 inlet that's offset right here. They have a 5 16 return right here in the center in a single 3 8 outlet. Makes it very simple. That way you can mount this really close to the fuel tank. You have your inlet, your outlet, and only one fuel line to run to the single inlet on your fuel rail. Saves money on, of course, fuel lines or AN if you guys really like some of this stuff like I do, this braided fuel line and fitting. That stuff can get expensive. This way it keeps it down to one fuel line. Now, <clears throat> it's a pretty neat function on the inside of this here. It has a fuel pressure regulator built into the center return port, and that's how it works. It goes inside, gets filtered, and whatever excess is gonna come out, it comes out in that center fitting. Now, like I said before, 58 PSI is what this requires for your swap, and this is exactly what this regulator does. Keeps it real simple. RC5 filter kits include the filter, an AN outlet, is a 6AN adapter outlet for the, for the outlet down here, and two 6AN inlet adapters. The reason we choose to go with um, higher quality fittings like these are from Russell, they have a good threaded retainer. This is, it, it really ensures a leak-free and secured fitting. Nobody likes a leaky project or an unsafe one for that matter. So these might be an extra dollar or two for the kit. We really prefer to have them in ours. It's really worth it. I actually have this on my personal truck that I drive every day and uh, it has been absolutely trouble free, does a great job. We always try to offer these kits to fit everybody's budget, but we do maintain to use high quality parts and we're gonna show you why. The reason I have two filters standing here that look identical to you and me is because on the right, we have a lower quality filter and on the left, we have the higher quality one that we use and that Chevrolet used on the factory cars. Now, if we look inside of here, this is the factory one. 
very high quality o-ring seal you can see this is a very nice high quality filter that takes up the whole volume of the canister very well made very high end brazing on all these connections if you see this other one here this is a cheaper one you can find for very very inexpensive online and it's just not that high quality of a piece not only if you can see that not only is the filter element a lower quality it's actually shorter than the other one and they did that and used an adapter to take up that extra space it doesn't seem like something we would want to sacrifice in a high-end project we don't want to put a low quality made product so that's why we use the factory fuel filter and regulator setup that came factory on your 99 to 04 corvettes that way they're leak free they're trouble free and it's the last thing you got to worry about if you would please give us a like a subscribe and a share we're going to be doing a whole lot more tech videos answering and addressing all your questions comments and concern if you have any more questions please comment section below we would like to hear what answers you need for your project car once again we really appreciate you guys stopping by see you next time